Hey guys, it's Tim, and Iron Fist is now officially out. Though at the time of me recording this video, it hasn't come out yet, so I can't say for sure what the series is like. Though earlier reviews do point to this being Marvel's weakest Netflix offering. And though the series may do well enough to get a season 2 in the future, I'm going to count down three places where Danny Rand can be used outside of a season 2, should it not happen. And my first option would be having him play a similar role to Claire Temple or Jerry Horgoth, where he would play a supporting role throughout the various other shows. And this could actually work out pretty well. First of all, Danny is really the only member of the Defenders with any sort of mystical bend to him. So they can either go for him as a source to anything mystical or demonic that's happening around them, or they could have him point them in a direction of where to go to if he doesn't directly know. And we do know from Daredevil that they have had mystical elements show up in that series, so Danny could help out there if he's needed. But even beyond the whole spiritual and mystical bend to the character, if he does end the season with the Rand Corporation under his belt, then having that sort of resource could be very helpful to the other heroes. Like with Batman or Iron Man or even the Speedwagon Foundation from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, they could use Danny's resources and business connections to help them travel around or use his business connections to get them into places they wouldn't normally be able to get into. And this connection can really give Danny a unique position on the team compared to the others beyond being the mystical martial arts guy. And of course, he could be there to help people out if they need additional physical force as well. But to avoid him being around all the time, you could have his adventures going on in the background, should his series prove to not be popular enough to go onward. It would give an excuse for him to not always be around to help people solve any physical problem, but have him be around enough that he could be of aid to them. But if they wanted to use Danny in a more limited capacity than that, they could always do the Hulk angle, and just have him only show up in the Defenders. If his series isn't popular enough to make it past a single outing, similar to what happened with the Hulk, then they could just have him only be in the crossover events and develop him more so there. Sure, this would mean he would have much more limited screen time compared to the others, since he would only be there for the crossover miniseries, but it's definitely a way of keeping him around without having to constantly reference him. And hey, the Hulk ended up being a big breakout character from the Avengers series, so if they reworked Danny in a similar way to that, they might be able to salvage him to the people at large. But if we wanted to have Danny continue to have a series of his own, for the most part, they could always do what they did in the comics, and pair him up with Luke Cage. And that's my third option for what they can do with him should he not get a second season. Just make the second season of Luke Cage and Onward Heroes for Hire. Ever since the two were paired together in order to basically keep their books alive, the two have basically become inseparable in most other mediums. They're essentially the dynamic duo of the Marvel Universe, and there's a reason for that. Their personalities, at least in the comics, play off of each other really well, due to how diametrically opposite they are, but still working towards the same goal. Plus, it'd be interesting to see how they work with these two almost disparate elements from one another, with Luke Cage having a much more grounded backstory to him, and Danny coming from this mystical city that exists in its own dimension. There are two things that don't seem on the surface like they would work at all together, but they almost always do. And I think since it was announced that both Luke Cage and Iron Fist would be getting their own Netflix series, that we knew at some point we would want to see Heroes for Hire happen. So, if Iron Fist doesn't get a season 2, I don't see a better time than now to make it happen. Plus, with Misty Knight coming from Luke Cage's series and Colleen Wing coming from Iron Fist series, we can get the Daughters of the Dragon as well. And those are my three options for what they can do with Iron Fist, should he end up not getting a season two. But only time will tell if any of this becomes necessary. Because for all that we know right now, Iron Fist may still get a season two. But what do you guys think? If Iron Fist weren't to make it past one season, what would you want them to do with Danny? Do you like the ideas here? Do you have your own ideas? Well, as always, let us know down in the comments. And until next time, this has been Tim from the Hybrid Network, Signing out.